Now what happens when you keep on studying for long hours? You say we are tired, we are saturated. Now what is this saturation? Actually this word we use also for solutions. You dissolve some sugar in water, it disappears. You add more, again it disappears till it refuses to get dissolved anymore. Now when no more solute can be dissolved, then it is called saturated solution. Why? Because the space between the molecules is fully filled with the solute particles. Now what is the way out? You want to add more, you heat it a little, some more sugar will get dissolved. Why? Go back to your molecules. The moment molecules get more heat energy, their kinetic energy increases and they move away from each other, which in other words means more space gets created and so more solute can be dissolved. Now after we have heated it, if we cool it, now actually space was not there, but everything has got fitted in. Now this is super saturated solution. Like it happens in a compartment of train, especially the unreserved one. When lot of people come in, somehow initially there is lot of trouble, they do not get adjusted. But slowly, slowly let two, three stations pass and then everybody gets fitted in, is not it? That is exactly what happens, supersaturated solution. The moment they are fitted into those spaces, then even if we cool the temperature, they remain fitted. Now going back to our second solution, not solution, now we will not use the word solution, the second beaker, you had put chalk powder in it. Can you see the particles? You can. So if you can see the particles, is it a solution? No, it is suspension. So the most striking feature about a suspension is the particles are large and can be seen. Now because they are large, if you will throw a beam of light, it will be scattered. You will be able to see the particles. Right? Now take another case where there was milk. The entire liquid looked white. Actually milk is not a homogeneous, you can say or it is not one substance. It is another form and that is, it is a colloidal solution, colloids. The colloids are in a way in between suspension and solution. The particles are larger than that of solution, but still they cannot be seen. But they are large enough to scatter the light. Now sometimes early morning if you go to a forest or you go to a hill station, how the sun rays trickle out of those misty air, that effect can be seen in the case of colloids and that effect is called Tyndall effect. Now the chalk powder when mixed in water, you let it stay, after some time it will settle down. So it is an unstable mixture. But in the case of colloids, it will not. So it is a stable mixture. 